You can't do it. When you have liquid nitrogen, you often see what a lot of people call steam rising up above its surface. That's not, in fact, steam. That's what we might call fog. What's going on is the liquid nitrogen is very cold, and the air has moisture in it. That moisture, when it comes, when it comes in contact with that very cold nitrogen gas, which has evaporated away from the surface of the liquid nitrogen, condenses into a fog and becomes visible. It makes it possible for you to see the steam, the, the real steam, which is actually invisible, rising off of boiling water. Uh, and I do have a clip of that. Here's what happens when you pour liquid nitrogen into boiling water. It produces a lot of fog, which actually goes down, because it's cold, not hot. So the steam is rising up. You expose it to the cold vapor from the liquid, from the nitrogen, or in fact, pour liquid nitrogen into it, and you can see billows of fog or clouds, if you want, rising up out of that. Now, steam rises because it's hot and it's buoyant in the cooler air, and liquid nitrogen produces a vapor which is actually heavier than air, or more dense, to more uh, correctly say that. So that actually drops down. So steam rises and fog, if it's more dense than the air, actually tends to drop. 